So to use the distribution factors to calculate power flows, the thing that we need, the uh, thing that we realize is that the distribution factors simply tell us the proportion of power that's going to flow on each of these two lines. And so the total amount that's going to flow on each of these two lines is the amount that's produced at the generator times the distribution factor on each of the two lines. So the flow on line one okay, is going to be equal to the amount of power produced at the generator times the distribution factor on line one, which remember is one over 1 plus 1 over alpha. So in this equation, remember that W is the, the power produced at the generator okay, and this term right here is just the, the distribution factor for line one. So the flow on line two okay, is going to be the amount of power that's produced at the generator times the distribution factor on line two, right? which remember was one over alpha divided by one plus one over alpha. As an example, let's take W is equal to 100 megawatts and we're going to take alpha is going to be equal to 2. So the flow on line 1 is going to be equal to W okay, times 1 over 1 plus 1 half. So this is going to be equal to 100 times, and remember our distribution factor here in this case was going to be two-thirds. Okay, so what we're going to get is 66 and two-thirds megawatts flowing on line one. So for the flow on line two, okay, that's going to be equal to W, or 100, times the distribution factor for line two which is going to be a half times one, sorry, a half divided by one plus a half. So this is going to be equal to a hundred times one third, which is 33 and one third megawatts.